Well, one thing that they're seeing out in California is plenty of rain. And this is all because of the atmospheric river. Now, some higher elevations like the Sierras, they are seeing snow. But places like Sacktown this morning, it is going to be a very slippery commute there because of the rain that's already fallen so far. Take a look right now at the water vapor. You can pretty much see here that we have a lot of water in the upper atmosphere. Anytime mm. you see these are darker shades of either purple or uh, this pinkish color, that's an indication that we have some moisture. And then you see where some of this orange is right there. That is an indication that we have some drier air. So California, you are going to get a break from some of this atmospheric river. You're just going to have to get through some of these rain showers right now. So San Francisco, Monterey, and this is extending all the way even into the L.A. area. Expect to see some rain at some point today. Northern California, depending on where you are, you're either going to see rain or you're going to see snow. And Medford today, you could also see a little bit of rain as well. Because of the intensity of the rain showers, we have that potential at seeing some flash flooding uh, for places like San Francisco, Monterey, uh, even extending down into Santa Barbara. Basically, the closer you are to the coastline, the higher likelihood that you're going to see some of these higher totals in some of these rain uh, drops. Really concerned about the I-5 corridor because we are going to eventually see that rain possibly uh, slip in here. Also, you got to remember that last week we already had an atmospheric river. So that means the ground is already saturated. So where does all that water go? It ends up spilling uh, over into some other places. It ends up flooding. And that's the reason why we are concerned uh, about the potential for some flooding here. Where you're seeing the darker shades of green, including Fresno as well as San Francisco, it's still very wet here. And the best comparison is in your kitchen, you might have a sponge. That sponge is wet. What inevitably happens whenever you put more water on it? It ends up spilling over. And that's exactly what we're going to end up seeing here. So as we go hour by hour here on future track, here's what we anticipate the radar looking like later on today. So for places like San Francisco, as well as, as uh, those of you in the L.A. area, the rain is going to be uh, pretty hefty uh, at times here. But by 5 o'clock, San Francisco, you may start to end up drying out here. Can't rule out the possibility of some scattered rain showers. And then in the overnight hours, look at that. The Central Valley, Northern California, finally getting a break here. Matter of fact, I think by tomorrow, many of you could end up even seeing some sunshine out of this. But one of the things that we're going to have to monitor in the meantime is going to be these river levels. Uh, as you can see right there, 32 California rivers right now are at that action stage. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.